and welcome in another episode from World of Warplanes reviews. I am Iron GT and today we'll be doing, we'll be discussing TSKB 12 Bs, a prototype to I-16 which was available in the game some time ago. Before discussing the plane itself, let's say when it was acquirable. And it was acquirable via forum mission, uh, forum contests, which were available during last year's December, that is 2014 December. Um, the contests were... well, they were different. They were like three, maybe four contests. Each one of them consisted of different rules to them, but rewards were mostly the same. However, um, they were mostly about playing, playing the game, like earn X amount of aces. The player with the largest amount of aces wins the grand prize, and the prizes were usually uh, for, for the winners, of course. Um, Gold, premium time, uh, premium planes, yes, sometimes even a chance, and I quote, a chance to earn World of Warships Alpha Access, that's some dope crap right there. And in fact, in one of those contests, <clears throat> I won, I managed to win, barely, but I have. <laughs> And I got myself the access for World of Warships, for what I am grateful, because if it wasn't because of that game, the World of Warplanes, I wouldn't be able to play World of Warships, and I still wouldn't be able, I guess. For for that, I am, um, well, I, I've, I've got some gratitude for that game, but I'm getting off the topic. <clears throat> okay, so among the, the contest's rewards were, of course, the premium planes, there was key 5 and then there was the key TSKB 12 in much lesser quantity, but it wasn't as exclusive as key 5, despite the fact that key 5 was much more hmm, widely available, I might say, especially during the last contests which involved you in UFO battles. Quite dope for my opinion. For my mind, to my mind, yeah, that, that will be correct ve version. In any case, uh, later on, a few months later, in February, as far as I recall, there was a mission in which the TSKB-12 could be acquired. The mission involved you in doing three smaller missions. Some of them were irritating, I must say, especially the one with... Uh, what, was that? what was that? Uh, winning ten battles. Being the first one in your team under the terms of damage that you have dealt to planes. Now, you might you might be wondering, why am I calling this irritating? Well, to your to your guess, it might not have been that irritating, but trust me, it was. Especially if your team wasn't good enough, because you had to, and I underlined that, you had to win. Yes, you had to win and be the first one, not the third, not the fifth, not the tenth in your team. You had to be the first one, under the terms of damage. And not ground targets, you couldn't just hop into an ill and start, start some, uh, like... Strafing rounds on the ground targets. No, it, did, it didn't work like that. You had to take a plane and shoot other planes. It wouldn't work in any other way. For that mission, you got yourself additional emblem. As for every other mission in that chain, the second mission involved you in what was it? Uh, winning five battles in a row quite disgusting in my opinion I mean disgusting and because well because of the randomness because of the randomness of your team but you cannot expect everyone to be like super mega pro like person that wipes everything in front of them 
and just calls it a day because they are so invincible, you know? No, 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 there are also more casual players, you have to accept that. I accept that, some players also accept that, but there are, of course, there have to be somebody or someone who just has to complain about it. That, uh, matchmaker dope derped me because my team was fucking potato team. Yeah, there was just a pack of potatoes, damn. Or tomatoes, tomatoes or potatoes, I think that's the, that's the same meaning, more or less. In any case, they sucked, apparently. Uh, and yeah, those were five battles in a row. Yeah, and there was much of a hatred, there was this, just this tsunami of hatred coming on the forum. Must say it was quite... quite entertaining to read. <laughs> uh, but enough of my opinions. Uh, the third mission involved you in winning 20 battles, and it wasn't as irritating as the first one, nor the second one. But you had to play Ills, or at least BSH2 from tier 4 and up. Uh, the emblems! The emblems were for the planes on which you have completed the missions, so you haven't had like an emblem available for every craft you had in your hangar at the time being. If at that time, and uh, you had only this emblem on the plane, you have completed the the given mission. If you completed two missions at the same time, for what I highly doubt, well, you could you could have a wider choice of emblems then. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. In any case, if you completed all the three of them, you got yourself the TSKB-12. But was it worth it? And that's where we're going to the review. So, let's go. What do we get in that plane? At first, let's see what the description says about him. A prototype of the I-16 TSKB-12, equipped with a right cyclone engine and a three-blade propeller. Following trials, it was decided to produce I-16 with the M22 engine. So in other words, we get ourselves an I-16. More or less on stock configuration, I mean, it's, it's like a mixture, actually. It's got pathetic durability. I mean, not very bad, but... It, it's not like tragical or anything, just... Uh, I mean, it's, uh, uh, well, let's just say it's enough, okay? It's, it's enough. It's enough of a durability, but it could be a little bit higher, but then it would need some nerfs in other statistics. Eh, not worth it. Firepower is two machine guns. Yeah, powerful, powerful weaponry, won't you agree? That's where it is. One machine gun, two, ma and second machine gun. Awesome. It's so good. Uh, for your information, the machine guns do not overheat that quickly. They got quite a long time until they go into overheat mode. Uh, they are rather effective, but their effective range ends up in somewhere like 200 meters. You could of course spray from 300 meters, but well, good luck with that. And and uh, may the RNG be on your side. <laughs> As for the ace airspeed and maneuverability, well, th those are the main traits of this plane, mates. This is the main, the main uh, characteristic for this plane because this thing, virtually, it can outturn other I-16s, no matter the, or rather say, yeah, b basically they can outturn. The test KB can now turn I-16, basically. But who will be flying on the stock I-16, may I ask? Who? Everyone will fly with the top configuration, or at least not without some machine guns, but... Uh, well, you know, something will be mounted on it. At least the engine, which already decreases its effectiveness against the TSKB-12, which will outturn it, eat it, and call it, call it a day. Uh, some Japanese planes of tier 3 and 2 
in certain configurations can outturn TSKB12. Again, he will be flying in the specific configuration to to counter this specific plane. Who? I mean who? If you outturn majority of the planes you face, why bother changing your configuration for some specific threat which not necessarily have, has to show up in a battle? Logical? I guess. I thought so. Uh, some some memetastic chain of text says... Uh, never mind. Um, as for the maneuverability, it's not the best in the game. As I said, some planes might outturn it in, in certain configuration, but there is also a premium plane which will outturn TSKB-12 if given a chance. We're talking here about the Ki-33, which has... 9.6 uh, seconds to turn full 360. In comparison, TSKB-12 has got just a little over 10 seconds, which is, of course, a little bit worse. Still, it's somewhat a difference. With, in a dogfight, it... Well, it depends in which place you begin the dogfight. If you'll be, like, directly behind your enemy, you are most likely to damage them uh, faster. However, uh, if you are de-hunted, well, you might as well just give up. <laughs> I, 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 I guess, I don't know how it, how it will look like in practice, but uh, I can guess. I've never faced Ki-33, thus far at least. So I cannot say that, but uh, there is some info for you that this plane can be still outturned by some pla by, by some planes. Um, other things that you should know about it, it doesn't climb very well. Sure, it's got quite decent amount of afterburner, but aside from that, uh, it loses it loses speed very, very fast. Very, very fast. Uh, despite its airspeed, it's, it's not a good climber. It, it, it is not very good climber, I have to say. Uh, how can you counter it? Obviously, woman zooming and uh, energy battle, you know, vertical, not horizontal, because you'll be eaten alive, but but vertical, unless you've got worse engine in that case, mm, well, a bad day, I guess. Still, this plane can be easily eaten if pro approach f approached from a high altitude on which this plane, well, will not perform very well, especially because its airspeed will be dramatically lowered. Uh, I think it's enough to say about the plane. Yeah, it's, uh, basic characteristics, tactics... Oh, wait, tactics. Sure, uh, if you see, say, someone high in the air, like a heavy plane or something, do not fly up. Don't. Unless you know that you manage to get on the proper altitude to make some threats to the plane but generally don't do it force the plane to come down then try to outturn it if he won't be a uh, if he won't be eager to outturn you you're fucked yeah it's time for a battle and before you say anything, it will be in a low quality because my computer just doesn't hold up both recording the video and recording the voice of mine. It simply lags the crap out of the game, okay? Good. I'm glad that we're clear with that. So let's go for a battle, shall we? Oh, oh well. <laughs> oh. That's bad. That's very bad. <laughs> Oh crap. Well, we'll see how it will go, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. Two TSKBs. That's truly bad. Oh crap. Look at the amount of clan members. Oh, Jesus. Well, I expect some troubles. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, but I do. Will it be a successful battle? I don't know. I don't know. Hard to say. So as you might see, this thing is very nimble. It's, it just turns like a freaking... 
Oh man. How do you do the the uh, aileron turn? Wait, wait, what? Uh, I mean, such su something like this. Uh, you know, to to make yourself less vulnerable on enemies' attacks. Something to pull something like this off. And oh, my brother, testify! I think I'll be in trouble. We've got one uh, loose grant attacker somewhere. Oh, he's making a turn. Okay. Uh, we've got the SKB-12 in a rather inconvenient spot. Let's dispose of him. He's main threat of mine. At the oh, shit. Not you again. Not you again. No. Who should I face? Oh my god, oh my god. He tried to shoot me. Blazed bag. Get away from me. Oh, who should I face? The fighter? The fighter. How is it that he survived? Good. You're toasted. Now the ground attacker, which should be in trouble. Oh my god. Okay, another TSK beast. Let's shoot him. Let's shoot him down while we still can. Let's deal with this sucker. Just die already. Can't, yes, assistance. That's good enough. Okay, I'm on the fire. But soon AA guns will try to face me. Who should I face? Oh my god, you can see the durability problems with this thing. You can see the, the problems which this thing has when facing anything. And I. Oh my god, I saw the grand attacker. Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 don't shoot me. No, no, I will not let you. Well, this is tearful battle, no wonder. Uh, should I face him? I should. And my engine is fucked. Okay. I cannot make any... Will I get a kill? Yes! Hell yeah! Now to just make this dude suffer. Should I attack ground targets? P play a bot mode? Uh, wait, he's making a turn. Let's, let's, let's blaze him. Blaze him! 420. Full 420. Some damage t taken. That's good. Will I get the kill? And I have not. I still smell some ground targets shooting at me. Let's play bot mode. And as you can see, it's not very effective. In fact, it's not effective at all. But my team came in! Yay! And crashed into a freaking water. <laughs> oh. Well, th that's something. That's something. I thought I'll be dead, but hell, I'm still alive, and we've got 109B. Let's not be in a good mood so far. I will not escape from my team. I am not that stupid. But that grunt attacker is doomed. Sorry, brother, you just took a long shot and you have failed. I wonder whether we win this or not, but if we'll take that HA-137, that shouldn't be bad. Uh, you could see that the, that the engine was enough to do some, well, proper maneuverability. Will I arrive to that grant attacker on time? And uh, I don't think so, that I-16's got him. But if I'll use my engine, I should, I should arrive there. At least to take those few points of damage. Okay, he's not facing me, that's good, but the A5M. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, that's good, that's good. He doesn't face me. Protect this, holy crap! No way, brother. No way. You're, you, you enraged me. And when one does that, Consequences are... Oh, how could you do this? How could you do... Oh, how could you? Oh, 
my brother. We've got the 109. That's a bad thing. Very bad thing. I think it's a loss. I think it's a loss, I have to say. But if he'll blaze us, who will he face? Nope. See, he, made, he makes such turns. How does he do that? Come on, come on. Try to burn me. Nope, 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 nope. That's bad. That, that is a bad situation right there. Oh my god. He's on to me. Or will he? Oh wait, wait, I've got some chance for some damage. Ah. You know what? I think it's a loss. I think it's a loss. It's damn straight easy. Is this Yamato? I'm toasted. I am officially toasted. Well... That's nice, nice trying. Nice trying to do something. Will I hide? I won't. I'm toasted. Oh, I think he will scratch some... Yes, domination! Oh my god, this was intense. Tier 4 battle, tier fucking 4 battle, holy sh... That was some intense crap, I say. Holy crap! But I managed to stack up some kills, you saw that. And some assistance. How many assists I could... Well, I haven't got the support. But it was enough. Damaging allies? What the fuck? What? What the fuck? Hey, I, I thought that was that was the experience value. Oh my god! But yeah, that was that was for tier four battle. Quite entertaining and quite edgy. But holy crap! Four kills. I mean, German fighter tier four. I mean, I, I suck. I suck with the 109B. But in 110B. In 110B, not 109, I... The best way to show you what's going on with the with the one, 110B is to show you my crew. But I'll do that later as a bonus. For now, second in my team... That ain't bad. Second in my team, despite the fact what happened. Yeah, that's... That's nice. How much did I earn? 19,000! Some bonuses to it? None. Wow! That, uh, that's a good number for a tier 3 fighter. And for such amount of damage. Really? I... Uh, it's a nice amount. Uh, I, so we can see what this plane can... can do. But in a tier 4 battle... It doesn't always look like that. It, you saw what this one 109 be done to me, right? It almost perverted me. I was lucky that I wasn't killed back then. So that's that's what happens when you try to face boom and zoomers. That you know what? I think that one battle might be enough for a tier three fighter. I mean for some higher tier uh, planes like tier 5, 6, maybe even 7, who knows. In in the future, with some luck, maybe even tier 8. Uh, luck because I am obviously not going to buy one, uh, it will be too much to me. It will be too much, I mean few thousands of gold, that's like what the fuck amount. And people usually when they have tier 8, 
given the uh, World of Tanks as an example, well, they, they earn a lot of cash, but I don't have any trouble with cash for now. But at, at least one tier 8 would be a nice addition, you know. I, I guess that if there was uh, some monthly mission, it would be like uber hard. Like, in the case of WZ-111, kind of a deal. Y y you know what I mean, right? You know what I mean. So, I think that all the things I said about that plane got compressed in this one video. Effectiveness against boom and zoomers, against, uh, against other planes in turn and burn kind of situation. Mm, effectiveness of its durability, of its uh, chassis, how much fire it can take. Uh, I think it is enough. I think it's enough. It is enough, and um, yeah, I think I think it's good. I think it's all fine. Uh, so yeah, if you'll find this plane, beware of it in dogfights. But if you will find it while being in a boom and zoom airplane, well, that is not much of a challenge for you. You saw what that 109 did to me. That that is an example. That is a perfect example of what happens when this plane meets a boom and zoomer. Yeah. So, uh, I think it is enough for this review. I hope that you enjoyed it. And could you please say to me what I have done wrong, what I could do better, what was not okay in this video, what you would like to see, uh, what kind of plane review you would like to see in in fact, I could show you my pantheon of, of premiums, so we could uh, so we could see it by yourself. Uh, where is it? Ah, from premiums. Uh, yeah, th there it is. Uh, the the whole part of my hangar from here are premiums. So, except of some examples like one one ten B. So, uh, which one would you like to see in the next review? Post it in the comment then, I guess. Yeah. As you can see, there is quite quite many, quite many premiums to go along with. Um, but yeah, wh what is your opinion about this? Uh, tell me, please, I would like to know. Um, so yeah, I think it is enough for this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it and um, that something interest interested you and something has had proven uh, useful. Um, I hope that I would be able to make some more of such reviews, but um, yeah, that's all. That's all very, very not sure. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Until then, Nairon GT, signing out.